Every year, the world drinks over a million tons of pineapple juice, enough to fill thousands of swimming pools with golden sweetness. From breakfast tables in the U.S. to cafes across Asia, this drink has turned into one of the most recognizable fruit juices on the planet. Yet behind that simple glass is an entire world of science, farming, and machinery processes that will leave you stunned. Luckily, we will be uncovering all that here at The Process World. Without further ado, let's get started. Pineapple has always had a flair for standing out. Long before it became a carton on a supermarket shelf, it was the pride of ancient farmers in South America. Indigenous people had been cultivating it for centuries, using the fruit for food and even medicine. When Christopher Columbus arrived in the Caribbean in 1493, he found this golden treasure and took it back to Europe. Suddenly, pineapples were treated like jewels, so rare that only the wealthy could afford them. They were a centerpiece at royal banquets, a symbol of luxury and hospitality. Centuries later, the story shifted to Hawaii. In the early 1800s, a Spanish horticulturist named Don Francisco de Paula Marine recorded the first attempt to grow pineapples there. His experiment helped transform Hawaii into the heart of the world's pineapple trade. By the early 20th century, vast plantations stretched across the islands, and canning factories began turning the fruit into a year-round export. In 1932, a major breakthrough came when the Hawaiian Pineapple Company, which would later become Dole, perfected a method to clarify pineapple juice without losing its aroma and taste. That single innovation made pineapple juice a breakfast staple across America. From that point, the industry exploded, moving from hand-cutting fruit to fully automated production lines that could process tons of pineapples a day. But before any machine starts humming, everything begins on the farm. You see, pineapple farming is a slow and careful process that can take nearly two years from planting to harvest. It starts in modern labs where tiny plantlets are developed through tissue culture. This helps farmers grow healthy, disease-free plants that all mature around the same time. These young sprouts are first grown in coconut choir pots until they're strong enough to move to outdoor nurseries. Once they reach the right size, they're transplanted into open fields laid out in perfect rows that stretch for acres. Each plant grows a single pineapple at its center, soaking up tropical sunlight and regular rainfall. Farmers monitor the fields closely, checking soil moisture, nutrient levels, and pest control. The fruit slowly develops its golden skin and rich sweetness, which depends heavily on timing. Harvesting too early means low sugar, and waiting too long can cause overripening. When the pineapples are ready, the harvest begins at sunrise. Skilled workers move through the fields using sharp knives to cut each fruit by hand, often assisted by mechanical platforms that carry the fruit to collection trucks. Every pineapple is handled carefully to prevent bruising since even a small crack can affect the juice quality later on. Once picked, the fruit doesn't sit around for long. It's quickly loaded onto trucks and sent to the nearby processing plant, often within hours, and that's where the factory process begins. But before we get into that, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this one. Now moving on. Once the pineapples reach the factory, the process moves fast. Every truckload is weighed, logged, and inspected before anything else. Workers check for ripeness, size, and any damage from transport. Only the best fruit goes forward. Anything bruised or underripe is set aside for other uses like animal feed or enzyme extraction. From there, the cleanup begins. The pineapples roll into large stainless steel washing tunnels where powerful jets of water spray away dirt, dust, and any residue left from the fields. Some factories even use bubble washers that lift and rotate the fruit gently through water streams to clean every surface. This step is critical. A single piece of debris can affect both the taste and safety of the juice. After washing, the fruit passes through another line where trained workers or automated sorters double-check everything again. They remove pineapples that don't meet the factory's standards and group them based on size to ensure even processing later on. Every surface in this area is made from food-grade steel, and the floor is constantly washed to maintain strict hygiene. 
By the end of this stage, the pineapples are spotless and ready for the next phase. As the freshly cleaned pineapples move down the line, they enter large automated peeling machines. These machines work fast. Each one can handle dozens of pineapples per minute. The spiked outer skin is sliced away in perfect spirals, removing every trace of the tough rind and the sharp eyes that cover the surface. What's left behind is the smooth golden flesh that holds all the juice. Once peeled, the fruit passes to a coring machine. The pineapple's center is dense and fibrous, not ideal for juicing. So a rotating blade quickly removes it, leaving only the soft, juicy parts. Each pineapple is trimmed to make sure no rough or hard bits remain. The aim here is consistency. Every piece that goes into the next stage should have the same texture and flavor. Nothing in this process goes to waste. The removed peels and cores are collected for reuse. Some factories send them to composting or convert them into organic fertilizer for pineapple fields. Others use them to extract bromelain, a natural enzyme used in medicine, cosmetics, and even meat tenderizers. It's a smart way to make sure every part of the fruit contributes to something useful. With the pineapples peeled and cored, the next stop is where the juice comes to life. The golden chunks are loaded into industrial crushers that break them down into a soft, pulpy mixture. From there, the pulp moves into a screw or belt press, machines designed to squeeze out every drop of juice. These presses apply steady pressure, separating the bright yellow liquid from the fibrous remains. The extracted juice flows into stainless steel tanks, while the leftover pulp is collected for recycling or animal feed. At this point, the juice is raw and unrefined. It's full of small fruit particles, fibers, and a bit of foam. To get that clean, smooth consistency people love, the juice passes through several filters. Some factories use fine mesh screens or centrifuges to spin out any solids, while others use enzyme treatments like pectinase to help the juice stay clear and stable. The goal is to create a liquid that looks pure while still keeping its natural color and tropical flavor intact. To protect the juice from oxidation, a degassing system removes trapped air bubbles before storage. This step also helps prevent discoloration and unwanted foam during bottling. Then comes standardization, the process of checking the juice's sweetness, acidity, and density to make sure every batch tastes exactly the same. By the time this stage is done, the juice has gone from fresh fruit to a perfectly balanced liquid ready for the next step. Now, before the juice can ever reach the shelf, it needs to pass one crucial step, heat treatment. This is where the factory makes sure the juice stays safe, fresh, and shelf-stable without losing its tropical taste. The filtered pineapple juice flows through stainless steel pipelines into a pasteurizer, where it's gently heated to around 85 to 95 degrees Celsius. This short burst of heat destroys any bacteria, yeast, or enzymes that could spoil the drink. Sensors and automated systems carefully control every second and every degree to make sure the juice is sterilized without being overcooked. Once the pasteurization is done, the juice runs through a cooling system that quickly brings the temperature down to preserve its flavor. In some factories, especially those producing for export, the juice goes through an additional step called concentration. Using vacuum evaporators, part of the water is removed to make a thicker, high-sugar liquid that's easier to transport. This concentrated juice is later diluted and reconstituted before packaging. To keep the natural aroma intact, factories often use aroma recovery systems. These capture the delicate pineapple scent that escapes during heating and return it to the juice later on. Nothing goes to waste. Heat energy from the pasteurizer is often reused to pre-warm incoming juice, saving power and maintaining efficiency. Now that the juice is perfectly pasteurized and cooled, it moves to one of the most precise areas in the factory, the filling line. This section operates under strict hygiene controls where the air is filtered, the temperature is monitored, and every piece of equipment is sterilized. Depending on the type of product, factories use either hot filling or aseptic filling systems. In hot filling, the juice is poured into bottles while still warm, which sterilizes both the bottle and the cap. Aseptic filling, on the other hand, keeps the juice and the packaging sterile separately then seals them together in a completely clean environment. The choice of packaging depends on where the juice will be sold. 
Some brands prefer glass bottles that give a premium feel, while others use PET plastic for lighter transport. For large-scale exports or school supply chains, Tetra Pak cartons and bag-in-box containers are common because they protect the juice from light and oxygen, helping it last longer without refrigeration. Before filling begins, each bottle or carton passes through a cleaning tunnel where it's rinsed or sterilized with steam or UV light. Then the juice flows through multiple filler heads, filling hundreds of containers every minute. Capping machines seal them instantly, followed by labeling systems that print brand names, nutritional details, and expiry dates. Once sealed, the bottles are cooled, inspected, and packed into cartons or shrink-wrapped bundles. Every bottle is coated with a batch number for traceability, making it easy to track its entire journey from factory to shelf. At this point, the juice is ready for the outside world, clean, sealed, and safely packed, waiting to refresh whoever opens it next. And that's it. Now to you. Which part of the process impressed you the most? Comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one.